this chair has been passed on from the family. How old would it be? I don't know. At least 50 years, 60 years, 70 years, perhaps 100 years. And it was owned by a grandparent who used to sit in this chair. So when we sit in the chair, we are doing the same thing as what that grandparent did. Perhaps we can imagine we have the same thoughts. Perhaps we do have the same thoughts. Strange, isn't it, that when you're growing up, your parents and your grandparents, they say, do this, do that. Do the other. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't do the other. And then as you get older, and they get older, the roles reverse. And you're saying to your parents, Do this. Do that. Do the other. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't do the other. Don't let strangers into your house. <laughs> this sort of thing. And if you think about it, we never knew the person who sat in this chair because they died before we were born. But how many of those traits have been passed on? And how much are we literally those other people? We see photographs and we see similarities. And we think, oh, he was handsome. And you wonder how many of the traits are passed on, good, bad, indifferent. So when they've been telling us off years ago, they're really telling themselves off, aren't they? And when we tell them off, we're telling ourselves off. It's a strange old world. <laughs>